Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday's Closet. Thanks for joining. Um, so today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I did not do a thrift haul. Nothing is thrifted today. But um, I want to share with you guys some things that I just picked up, some of my latest cops, and give you some background on it, kind of why I wanted it, and just little stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with some Topshop pants I actually got. Um, so if you're not like pretty familiar with it, Topshop is a British brand. They don't have any locations in the United States. They have like little pop-up shops inside of Nordstrom. You might go in like the YC department, Young Contemporary, and they'll have like a little area where it says Topshop and you can find little cute trinkets there. So this pair of pants, Sorry guys, when I open them up, they're like a little wide. Like these pants are like really big, but it's because they're kind of oversized. So these are the pants. They're kind of like cargos. They have a lot of pockets on each side. They're kind of really big and baggy. They kind of remind me of like some car hard worker pants or something like carpenter pants or something like that, but they're not. Um, these are Topshop Boutique pants, so these ran me about $100, but I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these, and they're very comfortable. They are not stretchy, that's like really what I look for when I go jean shopping, or like, sorry, or I look for jeans that have stretch in them, because when you are a little bit curvier, it tends like a, a stiff denim tends not to really move with you, and it gives you like pancake butt, but this one is not not stretchy but I still don't get pancake butt so it, like it works out pretty well so yeah and the main reason why I got these pants is basically because I'm trying to build up my jean collection kind of get away from like stretch pants and leggings all the time I really want like some sweet jeans and those really caught my eyes so I was like they're 100 but I'm gonna cost them because if I got like rag and bone or something like that it would be in that same ballpark Okay guys, so my next cop was this Nike sports bra. So we're gonna start off by looking at the swoosh right there in the center, very clean. And then on the borders of the bra, they have the Nike logo all over. And I think that was pretty much what sold me. I thought that was very aesthetically pleasing. I just love the placement of it and how they put it everywhere. It's like a lot, but it doesn't look tacky. And that's, I think, what I really love about it. And I actually tried it on before I did this. And like it says right here on the tag, it does really have light support. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna be like a regular bra, but it does support you some. So you could feel free to just wear this just throughout your day, just the bra. It's actually very comfortable and breathable. And then we turn it around to the back where they have the Nike all over once again. I feel like this is like a really good staple piece that you can work with. You can like switch it up, wear it with like maybe a mesh top where you can see the Nike all under the top. I feel like that could be a very clean fit as well. And I'm just gonna, oh, sorry about that guy right there. I was trying it on and somehow the plastic just kind of snapped. So that is one downfall of the item. And then you go over here and it's perfectly intact. So I will be, going back to exchange this and as far as price i copped this bra for 40 dollars which was pretty economical in my opinion because i expected to spend around 80 for a bra like this and like i said i will be exchanging it because i don't really find it ethical to pay 40 dollars for a product that's broke so yeah last but not least is uh this vintage bendy bag I copped this one not too long ago at a vintage shop and I am in love with it. I feel like it can be dressed up, dressed down, any way I really want to wear it. It has the double F monogram logo all around it. It's a uh, canvas clutch. So like I said, it can be easily dressed up or dressed down no matter how you want to go. And it is a pretty nice size bag so I don't really have to worry about not being able to put like enough in it or put too much in it and I'll open it up for you it's a very sturdy bag this is just the inside and this is a 1970s Fendi so it does not have the serial number in it it's very old but it's 
feel very sturdy like I said and you can see right there it says Fendi SAS that's just the trademark Fendi gave its bags in the 1970s and 80s so just to give you a time frame on it one more time and just another good look at it it has the leather embossing right in there and then on the zipper it has the double F logo so yeah this one was also a steal for me I think I got this for 85 bucks which is amazing and because it is 100% authentic so yeah thank you guys for tuning in like I said after this part there will be a try on you can see all of these items on me and how I decided to wear it uh, don't forget I do sell items on Depop and Instagram so my Depop is DMR22 and my Instagram marketplace is Days Sunday's Closet and my I also have personal accounts, uh, Twitter, DaysRob22, and my personal Instagram is Sunday2Ns, D-A-E-5, where I do have a photographer and he helps me out with some dope pics, so don't forget to follow, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Thank you guys so much. Peace.